All right, Harry, coach, thank you. Flag on the play, first play, second quarter. Disconcerting signals is a big thing in college football. Yeah, let's see which way they go with this. It was due to the shift of the D-line. Snap infraction, offense, number 68. Five-yard penalty, remains first down. It's Jack Hollifield, the transfer from Virginia Tech. Of course, his brother, a great player there at Virginia Tech, Jack Hollifield. So they caught it on the offense, first and 15. Kanye Roberts. And another penalty on the play as Roberts takes it to the outside. Wesley Miller forced him out. Penalties can be drive killers. When you have this momentum going, you're on the plus side of the field in, terror, in, in South Alabama territory. These penalties can be drive killers for you. Holding offense, number 67. 10-yard penalty, repeat first down. Yeah, you're down 14 nothing. You forced the turnover, as you said, in plus territory. And now we've started the second quarter with a false start and a holding to move them back 10 yeah, more yards. And, and just the movement, the defensive movement causes it sometimes. You saw the defensive movement and the line shifting up front. Just a little hold as an old line coach. You know Coach Clark hates seeing that call being made even. So now first and 25. Nifty play there out of Aguilar to two. Caden Robinson. Fans wanted a flag for a late tackle. And a gain of six for the quarterback's favorite target, Caden Robinson. By the way, happy birthday to Caden Robinson turning 24 today. Yeah, not a very friendly birthday present right there. By Ladarius Webb, I think I think he got away with call, him. The, yeah. the back judge actually got taken out on the play by some receivers blocking downfield and wasn't there to see it. That probably could have been called, and that's Kanye Roberts again. A kill Washington, and it's going to be third and forever. So when you get in these situations here, Matt, you're trying to put yourself in a good position. Either get into field goal range, or as a player, I always say, hey, make it hard on the head coach right now. Get into a position where you're close to going for it, where he has to make a tough decision with your play call. And really what's stunning about this, South Alabama, the 14th ranked pass defense in the Sun Belt. And they've started off playing well as Aguilar forced off his mark, shot downfield, incomplete. Eli Wilson, the intended receiver. They're getting a lot of pressure up front. There's Carlos Johnson there, number 90 coming. The pressure's really getting Joey Aguilar out of rhythm in this throw and, and getting him off the spot, as you said, or having to get rid of the ball before he wants to. The Mountaineers, nothing off the turnover. Connor Maynard back to punt. Pritchett deep. Pritchett's going to let that one go over his head. Oh, that is, that is Dan Mullen backspin, 54-degree wedge. Check. He, he spun the club after that one, Matt. He held the pose, spun the club. There was definitely a put, foot twirl there. <laughs> put it away. Great special teams to put, uh, put South Alabama back to the wall again. Uh, outside, Devin Voison. You roll the left-hander out to his strong side and a gain of 10. The confidence and the quickness coming out. This run a little naked out there. That ball jumps out of his hands all the way to the sideline. Great position and ball placement. That's Fluff in the backfield, this time App State on him. Did we just give Fluff Bothwell a NIL deal? <laughs> well deserved, one of the legit, that would be a legitimate one as well, not one of the uh, kind of fake ones come to my school. No such thing. 
Zion is ex big third down. Bothwell finds the crease, moves the chains. DJ Burks and Jason Chambers after 12 yards, and this true freshman, he is tough. And I'll tell you, he's really patient. They're just running a simple inside zone play here. Look at the patient, presses it front side, nice jump cut, finds that hole in the backside A gap right there. But the patience to run the inside zone is really impressive for a young running back. Out of Alabama, 5'10", 219 pounds. He's had some fluff. USA out of their end zone. Lopez scrambles, brought down. Michael Fletcher was first. And no gain. You think Major grabbed him as a former quarterback and said, hey, Wes, you're stepping up in the pocket and keeping those eyes downfield. Protect that football still. And you saw him right there step up in the pocket, keeping two hands on that ball, keeping it tight to the body. So second and 10. And I had mentioned South Alabama's defense, 14th passing in the Sun Belt. App State is 13th in the conference. Can they get a stop? Bothwell off the right side. Boy, he is patient, lets it develop. Some missed tackles there. Caden Sullivan after nine. And just a nice combination of inside zone and then a little outside pin and pull. You're gonna watch guys pull into the outside, using formations and motions to unsettle the defense and create the looks that Rob Izzell wants to run the ball against. Direct snap, App State. They didn't get fooled by it, it's gonna be close. Nate Johnson was there, and they're gonna spot him short of the fourth first down. How, how, give you Matt, head coach, you got him call it. Go or kick, go or kick. Oh, you're punting this. Okay. Yeah, you're punting this. We gave you the tough head coach decision. You got about 1.2 seconds to make that decision. Yeah, we're seeing if you're on track. It wasn't even that hard. <laughs> Injured player down. What do you guys freak out about? It was, that's an easy decision. So Kevin Abrams, Verwain, injured player for App State. He had to start tonight. They've got some depth issues up front. Marcus Clark. Marcus Clark out for the season. Jason Hurts is back up, also not playing tonight. So while they tend to Kevin Abrams, Furwayne will step aside. Fourth and one, big call from Major Applewhite early in the second quarter. This is one of the millions of new and used cars you can put on offsides here. Snap, Lopez, plenty of room for Gio Lopez to get the first down. And he has been impressive tonight. The running back, Kendra Bullock, key block, gain of 19. And a fun play call, quarterback lead, almost a counter. They block inside zone going to the right and he follows the running back going around to the left. What a gutsy call by Major Abba. That's why Matt's up here in the booth. He didn't have the guts to make that. He was punting. I, I, all day I'm punting. <laughs> I'm gonna hand team momentum. First and 10. Lopez taking a shot downfield. And you see the side judge threw his hat. It was Shamar Sandgren. The, the side judge reached for the flag, decided not, and the back judge threw one. This will be an interesting conversation. Yeah. They're not talking about what they're having after the game for dinner, I don't think. Let's bring in our, our rules analyst, Matt Austin, hanging out with us tonight. So, Matt, who's got the priority here on this call? Well, neither neither one actually. Now the official's hat is off because the receiver went out of There's bounds. No That's all that means. It's a free pass, second down. 
There was some contact there, but the field judge decided that their the pass was uncatchable. He gave the, the signal over the head, so they got together, went with no foul. All right, Matt Austin, thank you. Remember, this drive started deep in South Alabama territory at the four-yard line. That's Bullock. Check that Geo keeps it. Flag, however. It'll be a false start. The Jaguars. And again, another penalty. Legal formation, Legal formation. Offense. offense. Number 79 is lined up in the backfield. Five yard penalty, three feet second down. You're South Alabama, you take a shot on first down, you're running the balls, you feel comfortable, we'll get it. we we'll get ourselves in a good second down. The too many guys in the backfield, you see the left tackle. 79, Jordan Davis. Right here, Jordan Davis in the backfield. And those are drive killers again, now creating a second and long situation. Still Bullock. That's the give to Bullock. And they are getting yard after yard in the running game. That's a gain of 12. And they've got 166 yards rushing there in the first half. And, and done it with consistency. When you run the football, you want to be run efficient. Not just 160 some yards when you're getting just explosive plays or a big 80 yard run. When you're getting the eight and 10 yard runs, that's pretty special. They're averaging just under 10 yards a run. And another big third down. Lopez, forced out of the pocket, can't bring him down. First down, Jags. Anytime they have an opportunity to wrap him up, he gets out of the tackle. That one, Ronald Clark. And he's strong and thick. You see, running through the tackles. Knowing where the first down marker is, getting it, smart move, tucking that ball down to know where to get the, fir the first down. Move the chain. How about the stiff arm out of Lopez? 12th play of the drive. And a good job there by App State. Ethan Johnson first after a gain of two. I mean, Coach, there's a couple of things surprising in this, in this first half of the game. One, the App State offense hadn't been able to score on a defense that's very gettable. And two, how South Alabama up front is doing what they want to the App State defense. They're completely controlling the line of scrimmage. They're controlling the tempo of the game and not letting the explosive App State offense even be on the field. Play fake, quarterback run. Again, gets out of a missed tackle, and he's gonna go to the end zone, touchdown. Gio Lopez and South Alabama have come to the rock, and they are shocking Appalachian State. And you see the motion, they're in an unbalanced set. So once he gets through the line of scrimmage, there is no receiver. There's nobody on that side of the field on either offense or defense because of the unbalanced formation. Jill Lopez sees the blitz, sees the man coverage, tucks it and says, there's nobody over here. I can tuck it and run it all the way into the end zone. How about that? 13 plays, 96 yards. 